Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this cyclic quadrilateral A, B, D, E inside the circle whose center is C such that the angle A is 70 degrees and these sides E, D and this side B, D they are equal in length and now we are going to calculate this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go over the cyclic quadrilateral. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral which has all its four vertices lying on a circle. As you can see all of these vertices A, B, D and E are indeed on this circle. And moreover, the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. Let's focus on this angle and this angle. They are opposite angles. So the sum of these two angles has got to be 180 degrees. If this is 70 degrees, this angle has got to be 110 degrees. So therefore, our angle EDB turns out to be 110 degrees and here's our next step let's go ahead and do some extra construction to figure out our this angle x therefore we are going to connect these points b and c let me go ahead and connect these points b and c and here's our much nicer looking diagram and now we can see that this uh, line segment EC and this line segment CB are equal since they are the radii of this circle. So therefore this side length equals to this side length. And here's our next step. Let's recall the angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. This angle is at the circumference and this angle is at the center. So therefore this angle has got to be twice as much of this 70 degrees. So this angle has got to be 140 degrees. So therefore this angle ECB turns out to be 140 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect the points E and B. Let me go ahead and connect these points B and E. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's focus on this shaded triangle ECB. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. So therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle and we know that the sum of angles in any triangle is 180 degrees this angle is 140 degrees so therefore both of these angles have got to be 20 degrees each so therefore our angle CEB turns out to be 20 degrees and now let's focus on another shaded triangle EDB and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle as well since this side length equal to this side length. So therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle and we know that the sum of the angles in this triangle must be 180 degrees and this angle is 110 degrees. Therefore, each of these angles must be 35 degrees each. So therefore, our angle BED turns out to be 35 degrees. And here's our final step. We can see that this whole angle X is equal to the sum of these two individual angles, this one and this one. And we know that this angle CEB is 20 degrees and the other angle BED is 35 degrees. Therefore our angle X is going to be equal to 20 degrees plus 35 degrees and that is equal to 55 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 55 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.